It's a live podcast. It's episode 19 Whoa. of Retsu Talk, and there are no audio sync issues here because we're in a hotel room in Boston, in pre-packs mode, having some drinks, and having some fun. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Once we call the ambulance, we'll get this podcast underway. <laughs> we've got myself, we've got the beef. Hi. And we've got special guest, our pal, long-term Let's Play friend, Cherry Doom. Hello. Welcome to PAX. <laughs> that, that's all, really? I had something to say, but I forgot it. I'm really nervous. <laughs> really nervous? Man, that microphone's a tough audience. Oh, I remember. First female guest. First female guest on the podcast. Yeah. That's true, yeah. And the first uh, female presence on Rhett Supre, also, also I believe. Yeah. yeah. I Back in the uh, 2008 days. Really bad uh, guest spot on a oh. snake, oh, come on. On a snake eater. <laughs> <laughs> also Earthbound. Earthbound, yeah, I barely remember that. And there's something mm. else. I think maybe a Mario. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know. Yeah. Okay. It was uh, uh, very short lived. I'll stop it. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. But yeah, it is Thursday night, where we've all arrived in Boston. We have seen our share of people who we're pretty sure are here for the convention as well. They kind of stick out. It's an educated guess, is what it is, just based on some uh, some external stimuli that we've seen. We did the uh, black hoodies. Black hoodies. Um, when I was getting off of my plane, I came in from D.C., I was getting my backpack out of the storage bin, and there was a red fedora right next to it. Mm. I was like, somebody's here for packs. That's pretty tough. Telltale. Pretty uh, telltale, yeah. It's the first red fedora I've ever seen in my life. Saw a guy with a I ordered seven right after I saw it. I had to get one. I saw a guy outside the hotel with a top hat, and I'm like 90% sure it wasn't like a, like a bell hop. He was doing thing. some Scrooge cosplay. I suppose, presumably. yes. Really likes DuckTales. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a, a couple, a female couple, one, one of them had a top hat, and I was sure they were here for packs, but it turns out they're just getting married. Oh, that's sweet. It's nice. Is that illegal here? Marriage is uh, marriage is pretty legal in most places, yeah. Gay marriage. No. I think Massachusetts. Is. I think Massachusetts is down. I thought it was just Maryland or something. Mm -hmm. It is several states. All right. Mm. Well, we all had a really eventful commutes and trips up to PAX, as I understand it. Yeah, um, I was getting. Um, I was sitting on in my a seat, and it turns out I was sitting in the wrong seat. As people are <laughs> want to do to sit in seats, yeah. On planes, right? On planes, yeah. And as I was getting up to go to the correct seat, I noticed that the people that were in the correct seat were pointing their camera phone at me, which is really awkward because, like, I could clearly see them, like, pointing their camera phone at me and. Is that cherry dome? Is that cherry dome? You usually try to be discreet about that kind of thing if you're trying to take a picture of someone that's really weird. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that they recognize the. I have a, a Kojima Fox logo on my backpack, and I think they were just recognizing that. Uh, I hope. So they're pointing the camera at the backpack and not your person? I guess. And then when I sat down next to them, they were like, it's really awesome. And then they didn't talk to me. <laughs> the the but they asked me if I was from PAX, and then and I said yes, and they didn't talk to me for the rest of the flight. And then I took that was the wrong answer, apparently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nerd. <laughs> As they get out their DSs and play Pokemon for the well, duration of the Well, I got out my DS first, yeah. and I started playing Pokemon, and there, and he, he was like, he said, oh, that's awesome. And then they both got out their DSs as if, as if since I brought mine out first, it was okay to play Pokemon. <laughs> she gave us permission. <laughs> let's, let's do it. And then they didn't talk to me again. They just played Pokemon. Uh, until I finally like asked where they were from, and it turns out they're from the same town I was. We we had both the flights same, and then I never saw them again. Maybe I'll we'll see them tomorrow. Maybe. Mm. How long was the flight? Uh, four hours. It's a long time to play Pokemon. I gotta tell you. Three three fifteen. They didn't go away from Pokemon for the whole flight. Uh, it didn't look like it. Wow. An ironic question. I'm really not asking this to like be like, oh, Pokemon River. Is Pokemon like immersive enough you could play it for like three plus hours and still? Not for of... me. I don't. Okay. I don't like it that much. I don't know why I was playing it. So how do you spend your time for the rest of the flight? I listen, so to, uh, I listen to podcasts. I watch the end of Silver Lining's playbook on uh, the screen up there. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it. That's great. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> that's, that is it. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the most interesting commute. Mine. Mm -mm. I drove four and a half hours from New Jersey. So you did this last year, and I asked you multiple times why you didn't just take a train. Because the East Coast is kind of built for trains. 
Get from city to city. I don't have a good answer for you, okay? Yeah. I just, Maybe you like complaining about it. And you, then you I complain like, about having to pump your own gas and not... Actually, no, that wasn't my complaint. I, I mean, okay. I, I poked, I've pumped my, I poked, I've pumped my own gas before. <laughs> I um, poked my gas. That's no, how the, you do it. The more embarrassing thing is, like, <laughs> I sat there for a couple minutes, like, where the fuck is the attendant? And I was like, oh, right, New York. See, um, I flew oh, up to New great. Jersey one time on a business trip and had the opposite experience where I got out to pump my own gas, and then this guy came out and like yeah, kind of they, shoved me back into the car and be like, mm, mm. "Yeah, they yell at you. It's illegal." Yeah, I was like, is "What do I only, do?" Is it only New York where that's the case still? New Jersey. No, New Jersey. Is New Jer- that, yeah, New, New Jersey. State? I think it is the only state you're legally allowed to pump your own. You're not. You're not allowed mm. to pump your own gas. Oh. What is there reasoning behind that law? It's like, did explosive? someone? Well, I, well, that's kind of what I was getting at. Did someone fuck up so bad pumping their home gas that they had to outlaw it for everybody? I had the feeling it was snooky, honestly. Okay, that <laughs> would make sense. Um, the Jersey Shore was caused by people pumping their own gas. Actually, I'm sorry, apparently Oregon, too, you are not allowed to pump your own gas. Coast um, to coast. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's really... I knew... I, I thought it was two states, and mm. I couldn't remember the other one. Good Googling, Slow Beef. Thank you. Mm. Um, I'm doing it, like, as typing as lightly as possible so mm. we can't catch it. Um... Mm. Uh, Maybe make a quieter keyboard. Honestly, yeah, it's apparently it is just a thing where they don't like they don't trust you to do it without like blowing yourself up, you know. Mm-hmm. But it has to be based on some kind of precedent, right? I can't read this web page at the same time. No. Um, <laughs> we'll talk amongst ourselves. How you doing? I'm good. Oh fuck me! If only we could edit this out somehow. <laughs> the web the website I'm looking at though is like a litany of reasons you could read here and here, and I'm like litany is not the word I was looking for. <laughs> Um, I think, honestly, it just looks like it has to do with, uh, just sort of various legal statutes can, about how people can, ha- are allowed to handle explosive materials in, like, Oregon and New Jersey. Because mm-hmm. they're, I mentioned, like, fireworks mm-hmm. statutes and things like that, you know? So you say in Oregon? Huh? Mario Oregon? Is this what we're going with? Um, did I say Oregon? You I said Oregon. Yeah, I do say Oregon. <laughs> Who's my favorite Lord of the Rings character, by the way. Oh, <laughs> Okay, well, now we're starting a whole nother debate that's going to set Twitter afire or whatever. <laughs> it's going to be the buzz at the convention tomorrow. You know what's so weird about this podcast? about it on the floor. Since we can now see each other, I'm so much more self-aware, because I just did this like little move where I'm like, set Twitter afire, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny for the podcast people listening, I'm sure. Do you just, like, make grand gestures at home all the time? I do. Um, no, I... He uh, pointed <laughs> condescendingly. <laughs> I didn't mean it to be condescending. All right. Okay. Um, no, I... That's that's the only part of the trip. It was very boring otherwise. Uh, mm-hmm. So... I think I had the most boring trip of all. Oh, good. I'm glad we ended with you. Well, I mean, last year I went uh, through Atlanta to get to Boston, and there were, like, a half dozen fedora-wearing fellows... <laughs> Uh, some guys in a who had brony t-shirts on. Um, I haven't seen any of my little pony yet. Yeah, just you wait. So lots of interesting characters, but no, in DC it was more business people. Like my the entire flight from DC to Boston, even though it was only an hour, it felt like two hours. Of this lady behind me talking to this lady about her business, dropping every kind of office buzzword you could imagine. <laughs> I hate when they do that. Like synergy, distance learning initiatives. Think and I do like, like, I'm like, can the person she's talking to be that engaged in it that she hasn't stopped talking about these distance <laughs> learning initiatives this whole time? I never even heard that one, distance learning initiatives. Yeah, I had no idea what it was about. Something to do with military work. When, when I, I don't think she was here for PAX. When, when the people um, listening to this podcast learn about Let's Play and things like that, is that a distance learning initiative? Let's Play is a distance learning initiative, I would say, because you learn about video games from various disparate remote locations. No, I agree, totally. Mm-hmm, yeah, so. Jerry, your thoughts? Yep. Thank you. Okay. All right, next. All right, cool. Yep. Guy, you offended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, okay, I did not pick up on this until it was after the fact brought to my attention. So, Charity and I were sitting in the lobby of our hotel. Uh, you went to go find a bar where we were just at. I kept seeing uh, him ex- pass by the window in different directions. Wait, 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 yeah, we wait, kept wait, seeing wait, you wait. walk by like some kind of weird cartoon character. Time, 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 time. Before we get there, can we just clarify something here? It wasn't Cherry Doom and I were sitting in a lobby while Slow Beef went to find a bar like by himself. <laughs> Okay, we, we went to scout for the location of a bar there where we would later bar. relocate ourselves. There is a hotel bar we couldn't find, and I'm like, let me just go take a look around. Yes. Right, right, right. Just so we're clear. Right. So um, after you were doing that, this guy came up to uh, to us and said, and he kind of pointed at me, he was like, I'm, excuse me, but beat us? And I was like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's, you know, he's very friendly, he said hi, shook hands, uh, spoke briefly. I mentioned where you were, and uh, he said he um, was heading out or something to talk later. 
So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after the fact, I didn't hear this part. Jerry, you well, no, told he me he mentioned who he was. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. He so yeah, he's actually uh, somebody who offered to uh, this year with our attendance at John's panel to set up some video equipment for us and help us kind of um, heighten the recording experience of whatever um, whatever our plans are this year to kind of give us more of a, a better presentation for us. That, that was the most obtuse way of saying. So he's going to get ca a camera for us. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. Set up some elaborate video equipment for no, us, no, no, and, yeah, which yeah. is a very nice offer. And um, <clears throat> I didn't realize that on a previous podcast, I think I like just kind of offhandedly mentioned, like I said, according to you, this is you quoting me, you said, yeah, that was, you, you, you said that I said that it was kind of an odd thing to offer. Here's what you, this is what you said. Tell me what I said. Yeah. No, you, you said basically like, yeah, that was kind of weird. And then it said, to be fair, like a step later, you're like, I mean, not weird, but, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he made, I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, so... Uh, I, I completely missed this, but then Cherry Jim, you told me that after he left, um, he was like, he seemed kind of bummed out that you said that, or he said that, I didn't think it was that weird. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't, that completely went over my head, either because I didn't hear it or I had no idea what he was referencing, because I didn't remember that particular podcast. And then I felt kind of guilty about it, because I was like, oh shit, I didn't mean to like bum him out or anything. No, 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 I'm sorry, uh, the story of I remember is, I yeah. pointed out like, yeah, you said it was weird, you're totally telling our fans you want to set up video <laughs> equipment for us to fuck off, and you're like, oh, then okay. I feel, yeah, I feel a little guilty about it. So, that let me clarify what I meant. <laughs> I did not say weird as in it's some kind of, like, oh, what a stupid request. Fuck you, fuck people who want to do favors for us. I hate you, piece of shit. You go to hell, you die, you fucker. You motherfucking peasant. That's not what I meant. What I meant was... <clears throat> Just, by the way, point out, that's... If you ever talk to uh, diabetes casually, that's actually his normal. I always I escalate to the, I flight. escalate to that within like ten seconds right, of exactly. any kind of yeah. encounter with it's me. Really so frightening. Please, please be aware of that if you happen to bump into me at the convention because I will just go from zero to ten in like two. But no, what I meant by that is um, quote unquote weird. Is that well, you know, it's it's not our panel. So I just I was afraid of it upstaging in some way, John's thing, and I know I know John's thing is a silly thing, but <laughs> at the same time I don't want to like take over his panel like hostily or whatever. So that's why I said it was kind of an unusual no, request because no, no. the I, panel is not ours, and so I people understand. doing papers for us at a panel that is not ours, I just thought was very unusual. You know what it is? No, I understand what you mean because it, it would be yeah. unusual I think for us to like stand in the back of this panel and like riff on it and shit. Yeah, and I think it would possibly, make us stand out a lot more and... Yeah, like possibly. Which might put us in an awkward position. Right, we're possibly being weird or interrupting and stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. We might be, like, drawing a crowd, sort of. We don't want to draw our own crowd you. away from what people actually came there to see. I wouldn't go that far, but no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was wondering, like, last year, like, were you sitting... Well, it seemed like you were sitting in, like, chairs, like, sort of in the middle of the Yeah, we were kind of near the were back people, of the room. Like, were the people around of you, like, listening to you guys? I'll tell, so, um, this is what happened. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, uh, no, I was thinking out loud. Um, this is what happened, uh, as far as I remember. Um, when we were waiting for the panel, a couple people happened to, like, run into us and say, hey, aren't you ready to pray, whatever, mm -hmm. and we were talking with us. So, the people to our sides were kind of with us. Oh. Yeah, the they knew what we were doing. Right. The and we had thing, the freelance astronaut dudes were with us also. The one thing I will say is that when I was recording it, I was standing up. Mm -hmm. And I was somewhere in the back of my mind thinking, maybe yeah. there's people behind me who can't see me, but I'm annoying yeah. people. But then on the other hand, I'm like, what do I give a shit? Because no, um, I'm selfish. Technical difficulties anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Um, the whole crowd was kind of getting rowdy-ish at that point, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, it was... Not um, rowdy, but um, more into it than they were <laughs> when the actual panel was going well. Well, I think it was actually Pipes or Farrah, the freelance astronauts who started the shack. They started the shack shack. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that was, was very funny. Yeah. Which, if you haven't seen the video of it, yeah, they were playing Shaq Fu. Yeah. Both characters picked Shaq. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the joke. Um, and a legend was born. Exactly. Yeah. Not exactly. So anyway, I just wanted to clarify that because I felt a little a little bad after the uh, after I. Yeah, no, I felt bad. I don't want people to think that I'm dissing them for trying to help us. No, absolutely not. Yeah. I love you. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I almost read this in the wrong way. Um, we have so this is something Cherry Doom pointed out to us. But, oh yeah. Um, yeah. So a lot of times when there's like festivals. Stuff. A lot of people are coming in from out of town. There's a lot of people who are looking for hookups, uh, no strings attached, someone that they can meet, and then we'll encounters. Be are you saying the they're country. looking for encounters that are casual? 
You could put it that way. They're very laid back. There's Interesting. No, uh, and is there some kind of we- is there some kind of website where is there like a dude with a list dot org that you could read? Yeah. It's like a cool, chill dude with a name like Kevin uh, Steve. This is a terrible setup. Craigslist.org. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I started looking uh, on the casual and casual just to see if, like... Yeah, that's why you were there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just, like, I'm just there is... hungry for the nerd dick. If apparent, well, there is... <laughs> Posterity. That black hoodied neck <laughs> Just want to whip that fedora off and get to blowing. <laughs> Do you have to do that, though? Is the dick wearing a fedora? Probably. <laughs> if you can't look up and see the fedora, what's the point? Okay. I mean, well, then that's how you really get into it. <laughs> I mean, come on. You gotta, you know. Know, you gotta know that you're doing the real deal. <laughs> hey, Sailor, let's, let's have a good time, whip. <laughs> but yes, there are a few listings on Craigslist for people who are mentioning that they're in town for PAX. We gotta post this tonight to let all the people know. Right? Absolutely. And then we'll see like a dozen more. Yeah. Ironic casual encounter posts. Not as many as I was expecting. There's only 14 if you search on PAX. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you do. both of you have some pulled up, so what are some examples of people hunting for uh, nerd gal poo nanny? There's only one woman looking for a hookup. She would like mm-hmm. to give some head. Okay. Really? Yeah. Um, is, is that all her thing says? She says that she knows there's going to be a lot of cute guys at PAX. Okay, s- stop. <laughs> what is that based on? Well, two of us here. I mean, come on. And... Well, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> after my case-based research at previous PAX <laughs> meetings, I've concluded that there are a lot of cute fellows there. Maybe there are. I don't know. I mean, ten thousand to wait, sixty thousand. Okay, a law of averages kind of thing. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. there are probably some people that are attractive. I'm sure. Someone you'd want to just uh, blow after taking off their hat, top hat. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's probably the easiest place to go. <laughs> Come here, Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> and um, not for right out on this one because it's uh, tonight. It's around six or later. So. Maybe, maybe around six or later. Yeah. I'm flexible in my head giving. <laughs> you know, I got a pretty open schedule, but after six. Because <laughs> hmm. I will be in another listing getting my pussy eaten out. <laughs> That's a nice way to say it, right? The classy There's way. One guy oh, I thought that was your posting, sorry. Who <laughs> wants to uh, have sex at the convention center. Where is this? Okay, at... Uh, at or the, just, yeah. I, uh, I'm not sure I can find it, but um, he did want to... Do it. Okay, here we go. I'm looking for someone to go down mm. on at the convention center or go back to one of our hotel rooms if you don't want to do it at anything in the convention center itself. Because some girls are really, 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 you know, they might have a problem with doing something in a convention center with 60,000 other people. Yeah, it's quite a public place. <laughs> Can I just point out the sentence after what you read? What better way to improve the con experience than that? I mean, you know, I in, can in the realm of possibility. <laughs> I mean, that really tops it. <laughs> I have a very specific bucket list. Man, that throne, con- <laughs> throne controller panel is awesome. I wish a dude would eat me out. That's actually one of the challenges at their panel this year. I'm just really no wondering joke. where they're gonna do this. Like, are they gonna f- um, find a Wyvern room? Yeah, that's actually one of the panels. <laughs> what? It's one of the panels. It's in the Wyvern oh, Theater. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry, you don't yeah, know they, the names of the theaters. I'm sorry, yeah. Oh, that's they, right. they have, like, there's yeah, the Wyvern yeah, Theater, the Arachnid sorry. Theater, the... Naga Theater. Naga Theater. So be on the lookout, guys. And the fourth oh, one, yeah, too. Okay. Yeah. There's some action happening at PAX. Yeah. Maybe behind a beanbag chair? <laughs> <laughs> behind a beanbag chair? <laughs> or in well, the there's beanbag. A, there's no better way. Well, if there's, like, four people playing Pokemon in one beanbag chair, anything could be happening behind <laughs> that little... Uh, you got to catch them all. Yeah. <laughs> By that, I mean the Craigslist sexual diseases. All the diseases, diseases yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta, hmm. um, I, I like the subject of this first one that was posted today. Yeah. Here for PAX, hyphen, need wild girl that <laughs> likes to take control. I don't think he came to PAX for the right reasons. <laughs> I'd like to have some fun with a younger girl who likes to take control, who's willing to help me make some memories. Winky face! That's pretty much describing me. <laughs> that's your posting? Uh, no, I mean, that's I'm, that's... I'm who he's looking for. Oh, I see. Are you going to go for it? No. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, hmm. I didn't bring any of my, my, uh, my needles. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> Reply if you're interested. Your your picture gets mine. Parentheses. Bonus points if you like video games. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> so if you could, you know, mumble something about Contra while we're... It's, it's not enough that he'll just fuck me on a casual encounter, but if you like video games, I get you something extra. There could be relationship I mean, there's there. making memories, and then there's making memories. <laughs> winky face, just so you... Know. Why do you need a winky face in this kind of, like, posting? <laughs> You can, you like, know. Maybe means that just kidding, no one could make this post seriously. <laughs> you can get some domination done, I can trade friend codes. There you go. That's true. Hey, you wanna fuck tonight? If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Um, so if you're going to the con, you know, look out for... For me, that. Uh, taking control. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Um... <laughs> There's one too where it's like, um... Well, were there's, wasn't there somebody who used an acronym that I wasn't familiar with? Oh, yeah. Uh, H4P? HWP. HWP, sorry. Height, weight, proportion. Height, weight, proportion, that's it. Which means you're not fat. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's, I can understand why you would need to shorten that. Or to something they're not, more like, easy to understand. way too sleep thin. Right. All right. Gotcha. Okay. And, you know, no one could say that and lie. No, I mean, I mean, if that's on Craigslist, then not cra- it's yeah, true. Come on. Uh, I mean, well, Craigslist has terms and conditions yeah, yeah, about yeah. that. It's part of the the, yeah. the EULA. I heard lawyers review every post before it actually goes up to make sure they're all accurate. Yeah. yeah. Someone posted a picture of himself at the previous packs being attacked by. A... Actually, maybe not to talk about that one, since you know, uh, might, uh, are... someone might recognize him. I don't know. It's just that, like, yeah, you're right. But he just wants a cute girl to kiss at packs. Oh, yeah. Just but it's it, a casual encounter kind of kiss? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's casual, I guess. I mean, what else so just like, so they just walk by and smooch real quick and walk on? Is that... I don't know what other... Well, I mean, that's pretty casual way to kiss. I mean, bonus points if she likes video games. So. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is awesome. There's only 14 of them right now, though. I'm, I'm, only I'm, 14. I know. Well, I'm disappointed that there are not more freaks at this convention. 60,000, you know, people or whatever. That's mm-hmm. you There know. were a ton uh, uh, a couple weeks ago at South by Southwest. Whoa. Mm-hmm. How big is South by Southwest? It's huge. Mm-hmm. Like 100,000 again? Mm-hmm. That's so like the uh, artsy uh, film. Music, film, uh, interactive. It's like where Twitter started, basically. Mm-hmm. Just uh, in Texas, and it uh, fucks up my town for about a month. I'm sorry. <laughs> With a bunch of uh, awful foreigners. <laughs> because anyone outside foreigners? of Texas is foreign. <laughs> okay, right. It's like a whole other country. It is its own nation, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah true. <laughs> oh, good lord. So anyway, we'll be posting where we'll be for the next podcast recording on Casual Encounters mm-hmm. slash Craigslist.com. Exactly. Yeah. So. Exactly. Forward to that. <laughs> Pax want to make podcast available yeah. all week. Come and podcast with us if you like video games. That's a plus. M for C, which is male for cosplayer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my! So, um, would you, would you like to plug anything while you're here? Uh, very good segue. Thank you. About a thing I've already mentioned. You. It was Perfect. next on the list, okay? okay. All I right, mean, all right, all right. He has a computer in front of him. Fine, we'll go back to it. <laughs> I feel like this we're seeing guy... a doctor right now. <laughs> <laughs> Z for M, Zelda for man. I want to blow you at the convention. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, anyway, is, you're, you're Z for Wim HWP? What? Is Z for M HWP? It's like uh, H-E-R, like high year ratio. Oh, okay. What the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> Casual encounters. Obviously. Hyrule princess ratio. I'm just kidding. We're, ta- yeah. we're talking about your stream. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not into video games, so that's cool. it might no be problem. a minus. All so, right, well, okay. so, yeah. sorry. sorry. Okay, yeah. I used to do uh, LPs on a form. I was not very good at them. Oh, come on. Come on. Knock it off. I was not very good at liking to doing the commitment to them. Editing videos, posting them, uploading them. Uh, it's <laughs> quite a few missteps in the Let's Play process, <laughs> I guess. Then. No. Mm-hmm. I think you're being hard on yourself. I thought Trauma Center was fun. No, I'm just saying this is what I don't like about LPs. Oh, oh, oh. It's like, I don't have time. I work nights, full-time job. Um, and so, like, I do streams instead on justin.tv uh, slash smoothposers. Smoothposers? Smoothposers. Sm- well, justin.tv, not Twitch TV. Well, I also stream movies, and I got in trouble for streaming movies on Twitch TV. Uh, Sorry to switch. Oops. Yeah. But yeah, uh, right now I'm playing Hitman. Um... Uh, I also do it with Rock Tumblr, who is a disgraced something awful mem- member, but oh he's still a cool guy. He is. You know what? I think 
If I remember correctly, he just got, like, he would get really high before posting, and it was kind of... Eh, sort of. He's also very uh, dis- D&D pr- discussion and uh, debate prone, so... That'll get you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> he likes to be very outspoken. Yeah, he's a, cool, he's a cool guy, though. He's, he, a, he's a friend, and um, mm-hmm, he's sure. not, like, horrible or anything in the stream. Every time I dealt with him, if I remember correctly, he's yeah. cool, you know? Uh, we watch movies, we play games, uh, I'm playing Hitman Blood Money right now, I'm doing a very bad job of it, as I do with most video games, but it's fun to watch still. It's called plug your stream, not so like... So is this, this why you're into streaming, because of the whole... This is like a self ...pressure <laughs> aspect of it that yes, you kind of alluded to low, does not very, exist? Yes, very, very low pressure. It's I like the play. casual encounters of Let's Play. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. People can yeah. just come in if they want to see just leave. <laughs> S for L- LP. <laughs> right. I think. That's streaming. That's the acronym they use, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but uh, justin.tv slash smoothposers. Alright. You can also follow me at stokedbro. How'd you come up with that handle? Uh, because I am a fan of stoked bros. What is Stoke Bros? So in, it's a bro who's stoked about things. Oh, in general. In so if you just live somewhere thing. where there's like frat dudes around the, so yeah, much I that it's the, kind of near the invaded University your... of Texas. Oh, it's yeah. Frat Dudes Central. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Interesting. Do the frat bros in Austin outweigh the hipsters? I don't know. Probably. The hardest question I've ever asked on Red City. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, I usually stream in uh, early mornings, actually, because of my schedule, or very late at night. It's, uh, you know, check it out if you want. All of my videos are gone in eight hours because of the saving system, so that's also an applause. Speaking of schedules, let's talk about our game plan for PAX tomorrow. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, kidding. I'm most desperate to make pressure a smooth transition. Pl- awesome. Pressure me to plug my shit, and then you... No, go, I'm sorry. I'm just no, kidding. I have nothing else of value. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It's true, but still. Oh, well, um, yeah, no. That's, that's, yeah, that's no. accurate. <sighs> right, schedules? Yeah. What's our plan? Schedules? What's, what's our game plan for tomorrow? I think we've talked about having a game plan for quite some time that never actually came up with a game plan. Well, right. the only thing I think we know we're going to is the... Collectively. The Mega 64. Yeah. Um, well, we're, I don't know. You have Blizzard Entertainment Presents checked off. Well, that was just a maybe. Uh, I'm not committed to it. I might be going to the winning the PAX East game just because it sounds like an awesome. And is, it, is that an ironic game. panel that you're Ex- usually attending? Yeah, I'm ironically attending attending it. Maybe they're mm-hmm. like it's this extended metaphor about how PAX is the ultimate video game, and it's uh, like Middle Earth in a way about getting achievements in uh, PAX. So I might go to, just to see how they. It sounds like they try to carry that PAX for people who've never been or panel for people who've never been to PAX before. And I've never been so. Whoa. Who the fuck is Cliff Blazinski? Um, do you? Didn't, you he's the developer joke? behind. Um, it's Cliffy B. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I know that. But just remind me, just in case I'm forgetting. Gears of, Gears of War. War. Really? Yep. Mm-hmm. He's like a thing. Yeah. He well, he's not with them anymore, but he was the lead developer behind all the Gears games. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I had no idea. How dare you? I know. What is story you time? Call with him? yourself a gaming journalist. story time? Well, why don't you? Uh, I think it's about his uh, oh. punch it and read the description. Yeah, no, I probably know him from his work on Jazz Jackrabbit and, in particular, Jazz mm-hmm. Jackrabbit Holiday Hair. But um, oh, they're making a joke. Okay, yeah, yeah I got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. I'd be okay. interested in ironically attending the Final Fantasy PAX panel, just because of how much of a disaster Final Fantasy has been the past few years. Let's see what they are trying to show off. Golly. Oh, Fuck. upcoming release of Final Fantasy fourteen: A Realm Reborn. We're going to give an inside scoop on that game. Can I just, wait, can I read the whole thing in its entirety? Because I think it's ridiculous. Okay. 2013 is an exciting year for Final Fantasy fans. <laughs> Selective all capsing, yeah. With the upcoming release of Final Fantasy XIV, a uh, Realm Reborn, <laughs> join the Square Enix team <laughs> as they give an inside scoop on new details for Final Fantasy XIV, a uh, Realm Reborn. <laughs> like, why did you need to give the whole subtitle twice and everything? I think a snatcher wrote the description <laughs> for that panel. It's like, make sure the marketing is, is absolutely clear on all caps, always with the <laughs> subtitle. Or no, the main game, actually, and not the subtitle. Mm-hmm. I don't know, Morton Hoggard and David Yang, who both sound there's like a, monsters from it. There's a panel that I'm interested in unironically attending tomorrow. I think you are, too, Jared. In the uh, It's Dangerous to Go Alone, Take This panel. It's about gaming and depression. That's the... I thought that was a different day. 
If you are suffering from depression or anxiety, the internet and gaming culture can make your frustrating symptoms of alienation feel worse. You may be surrounded by friends, but yet unable to find one who will listen or understand. What you need is to know that you are not alone. Isn't that on Sunday? No, it is on Friday. Yeah, I'm seeing Friday. Friday at 2 o'clock. What's it called again? It's Dangerous to Go Alone, the Take This Panel. Okay, I've also got it Sunday, I think there are multiple, Sunday at 10 a.m. Yeah, fighting your inner demons, gamers dealing with depression. Mm. A lot of depressed gamers it packs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it'll be, it sounds like a possibly. I mean, interesting I'm panel obviously to, uh, one with all my self deprecation. <laughs> You could really gain something from it. Mm -hmm. yeah, geez. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll yeah. go to all the ones there. Are often. There's there's seven panelists on the Dangerous Code Alone one. Um, Man. Or eight, really, and two of them are Mark Klein spelled two different ways, which I don't think really are whatever. One's happy Mark Klein, one's sad Mark Klein. I'm going to... Uh, there's one panel just called Strip Search! Exclamation point. I think that's a game, one of the uh, game things. It's a reality TV show. Oh. It, uh huh. It, it is. The TSA in their wackiest situations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, having a having a diabetes. I'm story? having a live insulin pump mm. God, here issue we go again. <laughs> to deal with. Here we go with the insulin. Oh, oh man, it must be so hard having a friend with diabetes. My, you know, my older brother. He has, doesn't have a friend with diabetes. <laughs> my older, my older brother has type one diabetes. It's the same, and I don't hear it as anywhere near as often. Probably because he doesn't this, take care of himself because he's a useless piece of shit. This dude from the <laughs> internet who I like do video games with. You know, maybe having a disease is kind of a high maintenance deal sometimes. And if you want to take care of yourself, you, know, you maybe, have to be reminded to do things. Maybe a few thirty times. minutes of Super Mario Galaxy you can shelve it a bit. You know, I'm just saying it's possible. It never, I don't know. It never sleeps. All right. <laughs> You should have a panel next year about gaming with diabetes. Gaming with diabetes. <laughs> we gotta do that panel. It'll be awesome. <laughs> I'll be the friend in effect. <laughs> he won't shut up. We're yeah, a you can you can come to the microphone and tell kind of a teary story. <laughs> We're a Panera bread. He ordered like three meals, and the whole time I'm hypoglycemic. Ooh, what is that like, diabetes? I'm like, I can't believe I'm being assailed on both sides. Ooh, I haven't eaten all day. I might have medical ramifications from it. <laughs> oh, or me. Uh, or I, me. Did I fly with a low layover time with no time to eat much? Dude, did I mention I ate glucose? Pills, I think the internet needs to know. And by the, the internet, internet needs to know. I didn't tell that to the internet. Oh, <laughs> well, I just did. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> I learned it from watching you, Dad. And that's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to the gaming with diabetes panel. We are. Yeah. That'll be gaming with diabetes panel with you. Gaming with diabetes panel. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look forward to that. Paxi's 2014. Oh, you good. can talk about how it's like a resource management game. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Captain Noble has really needed to be was, a, was an RTS. See, insulin is like collecting minerals, but then there's this Vespane gas, which is like the sugar you have to intake sometimes with <laughs> the carbs. Glucose rush, glucose rush. Yeah. Um, I see at 3 o'clock there's both a GoldenEye tournament and a Puerto Rico tournament. A Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico tournament? Is that like Tropico? Is that like the amazing race to get to Puerto oh, Rico? Oh no, it's a tabletop game. Oh, oh yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to try some tabletop stuff. But I don't know how Nerd. that works exactly. I've never done it. Whatever, anything. you guys are like, we gotta do a D and D podcast. Well, that was more exactly. Davo pressuring us to do that than us. I'll do it though, because I'm it. cool. I, <laughs> I really want to do D and D, but I can't. I can't. Like, I don't want to go to a group like a live group of people. I want to do D and D. I want to talk to people. Exactly. <laughs> I want to do D and D over the internet. Make it doubly cool. I've been trying to do that, but I can't. I can't uh, get my schedule with everybody else. Do, do you do D and D currently? Uh, I technically am in one, but we've missed like three weeks because mm -hmm. of my schedule. So, what does your character canonically do when you're not there? We haven't we haven't done it at all. Oh, but oh, because of you. Yeah, you haven't even met. Okay. And it's other people. My character is a, a crow person, and I <coughs> and periodically person. I have to ro a roll to see if I. Your uh, character's Brandon Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Periodically, I have to roll to see if I um, get copyright uh, strikes. Involuntarily, uh, <laughs> sorry. Involuntarily, ca and ruin a stealth. Thirty game. hours of D and D. Hold on, wait. I'm All sorry. at once. No, that's a rule that I made up. That I oh, wanted to have my character. I was going to say that's be super a annoying. Hell of a DM you have there. <laughs> Why would the rest of your party, if you're on this like grand adventure, though, want a crow person who might call and ruin everything? Well, they didn't sign up for that. I mean, so I just it, added that in. So a crow person to make, is... To make it annoying. A crow person is basically just a crow human who 
calls it and shit? Well, it's just like a, basically a crow that has... So you're, so you're a crow. Like you're a crow furry, I guess, if you want to put it that way. Ooh. Um, are you partially sure. trolling your like own? Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so you have no useful powers. I mean, to I like to. Team. I like still like for D and D to be like fun and uh, humorous. Can you fly at least? No. <laughs> you don't even get the good Can't parts fly? of being nope. a crow. Nope. Do you eat the dead? Wait, is that crows? Uh, um, I think they do that. Okay. Okay. They probably would. They I know. guess if they get hungry enough. Yeah. Know. I, I would. It's. <laughs> I would. I would eat the dead. Why not? Yeah. No. <laughs> if they're there. Yeah. Basically, I just wanted to be a crow person so I could be annoying and caw and like try to steal everyone's shiny armor all the time. And so be you as can, annoying as possible. You can wear armor and you're a crow. Yeah, I'm like crow a, person. a, a crow. crow a human-sized crow. Do you, wait, do you have like hands it's, and arms? Yeah. Why am I asking? This is. Ridiculous. I don't know. Why are we on this? So. Do, long? do you have any fan art of your character? Like, no, I don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to picture this. Oh my. Is there a panel for whatever that is? No. Um, <laughs> speaking of panels. Um, speaking of tabletop stuff, we're supposed to play Cards Against Humanity with John at some oh, point. Oh, yeah, I yeah. I think we'll here. Yeah, I'll do that. What the fuck? I don't care. Yeah. I don't know any. So remind me, Cards Against Humanity is like apples to apples, but it's more so phrases instead of single words that you link to other things? Yeah, so the way apples to apples is played, right? Yeah. You have a group of people and you have. I think, help me, if I'm, help me out here, it's like you have re- red apple cards and green apple cards. Yep. Oh, with apples, apples, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you have a deck of red apples, <laughs> and the idea is one person is the judge for a round. Yeah, yeah, so with apples, apples, you have a green card that is... You have uh, a red card that's a noun. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Well, it's yeah, a green card you put down that's a word or something, and then you have a card that you try to, say, describes that thing. Yeah. A noun, and or, then... One's a noun, one's an adjective. And the then colors. one judge looks at all the cards that everyone plays and picks the one that makes them either laugh the most or that they think is the most accurate. Yeah, you have like a hand, if I, it might, I might be mixing up which is which, but you have a hand of eight yeah, nouns, I think, that go with that, with an, one adjective or mm-hmm. vice versa. Yeah, give or take. Yeah, yeah. And the idea is the judge decides which one's the funniest is the idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cards Against Humanity is a very similar idea, except, and this I played more recently, which I remember. So you have a hand of like, let's say, uh, I think ten white cards, which are all nouns or phrases or something, or uh, not phrases, but nouns. Mm-hmm. And um, the black card gets drawn every time, and the idea is you all play a white card, and the, the black card's like a phrase like, um, if I were a superhero, my superpower would be blank. Mm-hmm. So you play these white cards, and then the judge for that round decides which one's funniest, and whoever's it was wins the black card, which is like a point, is mm-hmm. the idea, you know? Mm-hmm. You have like double ones where it's like two blanks in the one card, and you play two cards, but either way, you always have the ten white cards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fun. No, it's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently, though, it's funny. They, they, it was a Kickstarter thing, Cards Against <coughs> Humanity. Oh, really? Yeah, it got funded, and then they ran out of, like, decks. Like, it's hard to get. I saw a Kickstarter page for somebody who was clearly using it just to get funding to buy, like, a computer and games to do Let's Play with. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, he was trying to raise 17, He was trying to raise 1700 bucks, and his, uh, you know, those little uh-huh. levels where if you pay so much you get a little kickback, a yeah. little something-something. It was like... I'll sign a can of empty soda and send it to you, or oh you donate Lord. like twenty five dollars. I'll talk about whatever you want on three episodes. Sounds like the vagabond from and, our uh, it, it, you'll, be, you'll be pleased to know it raised zero dollars, oh. <coughs> and the um, and the fundraiser for it was canceled. I think recently. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. incredible. Mm-hmm. Maybe so. Anyway, you want to start a Kickstarter? I uh, do. Yes. <laughs> what should we? Do I'm not with? sure what. It what would you do with the money? By a, by a less... Make more podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> because these yeah. are so I would, intensive. Budget intensive, yeah. yeah. Well, we each had to pay to come out here. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually. Which is a pretty big expenditure. So. <laughs> Wait. What? What if we did a Kickstarter to get camera equipment and go like interview people at these cons around the country? Around the country. And yeah. like kind of rutsy pray them a little bit as we interview yeah. them. Kind of sure like the, get out of here for this. Kind of like what the Daily <laughs> Show does. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Kind of like what the Daily Show does. Mm-hmm. It'd, it'd be like red letter media, only less original. Like when they go to the cons. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, basically. It sounds almost like a good idea. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Did we exhaust our agenda items for the day? We we don't have pack stuff specifically to talk about because it's still pre-packs. So. Right. We managed to squeeze yeah. 40, a 40-minute 40 blood out of this nothing stone that we had, <laughs> but, you know, still. I drove four hours no. to be here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I flew for four hours to be here. Hey, guys, can I come back yet? Yeah. Oh, do you have me? more stuff to oh, say? Oh! <laughs> see, that was role-playing. But, um, now I see how they do it. 
Welcome back, Crow Doom. Um, yeah. Crow person. So that's something though. If we play a D and D like tabletop thing, we'd have to come up with is like characters like that. Well, is there a thing well, it like? Have, it doesn't have to be crow people. I mean, you, there's you can do pre-made characters if you want, and you could just like pick a race, just like you do in. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I just steal your idea? And is, be it? is there a kind yeah, sure. of um, is there like a D and D abridged thing you can do? Yeah, like fact, actual campaigns last pretty fact, long time. In fact, right? there's uh, some free play stuff tomorrow where there are D and D board games where you just get pre made characters and they're just like real short campaigns. I might try to do one of those. Isn't that like Hero Quest? I have no idea. I liked Hero Quest. It's a, it, was a, it was like a board game, old board game, kind of in the style of D and D. Is that the ones with the? I mean, you'd, you'd roll dice, like, you'd move, yeah, yeah. there'd be traps that would be indicated mm-hmm. by different tiles, yeah. things like that. I think it might be something like that. Yeah. You, you know Milton Bradley, I think, I don't know if they sued or filed an injunction against Sierra. Oh, really? Because remember, Sierra had all the quest games, like King's Quest, Space Quest, etc. Mm. Quest for Glory was originally Hero Heroes Quest, oh. but Milton Bradley had come out with Hero Quest, the board game, and told them that, oh. and that's why they renamed it Quest for Glory. That's a no-no. That's a little bit of trivia for you. Mm. Thanks. I'm going to use that at PAX tomorrow. <laughs> use that how? Use that just as an icebreaker. Up, just walk up to any group of uh, D&D players that are in heated combat <laughs> to start talking about Heroes Quest. And then, and then are y'all playing Hero Quest? <laughs> and then but you say fun. first, thing, you point at them, you say PAX? That's the way it goes. Hey, right? you're for PAX? <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> are you playing Monopoly? <laughs> Can I fly? You sound like Mike Dawson there. <laughs> <laughs> Even the voice and everything. Like, it works. So. My attempt at being the most pathetic person alive sounds like Mike Dawson? It's so strange. It's odd, though. That's so strange how that works. Uh. Oh. So uh, the, I think what we're going to try to do is after each day of PAX, we'll have a little bit of a podcast regroup, talk about our experiences of the day, mm-hmm. reflect, kind of give us a chance to... Get some lessons learned out there and um, make tomorrow an even better day. So this will be some nice, digestible 40-minute podcasts. <laughs> Many 40-minute full-length episodes. <laughs> we might not be that long each time. I'm sure we won't. What if we have a really adventurous day and it's like 90 minutes? Well, then the next day will probably be a total bust. Well, if that's a three-hour podcast. We won't have seen anyone having sex at the convention center. The blowjobs, though, right? That's yeah. Well, I'll totally be vining that. If this no, is I'm. I'm sorry, Cunnilingus. <laughs> that's like where blowjobs, right? Is... No, remember that's the thing. The woman. Wait, am I getting that? It was a roast? dude who wanted to go down on someone at PAX. So, and yeah. he was looking for a lady. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay, okay. gotcha, gotcha, right. gotcha. I'm glad we clarified that. Yeah. We got. We should have a scavenger hunt. So, any any fans who want to take one for the team, just because we need to know where the hell that would go down in the convention center, <laughs> or if you're a fan who. Fan who posted that, let us know. Yeah, we're, what yeah. you were planning. I'm just curious. <laughs> because you re- if you were trying to get to us, it didn't work. Can no, you no. reply to a Craigslist posting and just be like, what the hell are you thinking, dude? <laughs> yeah, sure. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's get on that, then. Remember, don't put any winky faces when you say that, otherwise we'll think of something What the else. hell were you thinking, wink? <laughs> what the hell you were you thinking? Not messaging me directly. <laughs> Wait, can I sign it like, <laughs> Gabe or Tycho? Or whatever, just be like, where were you planning to do this at our convention? <laughs> just just sign it, Proton John. <laughs> now they're going to know it's us. And they're going to find us and beat us up. God damn it. Or give us head. Oh. What? <laughs> well... In, oh. in that order? Oh, wait, the guy's 15. Oh, here we go. What? Hotel fun. Oh, and a, oh, there's a oh, picture no, of a dick. I thought you were yeah, saying okay. his age was uh, 15. Oh, no, 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 no. There's, there's 15 people or whatever. There are no. 15 dicks? Yeah. No, they had a picture, the guy had a picture of his dick. M for M. Hmm. Maybe that's the thing. It's just, here's my dick. You had, you down or what? And it just saves time. That's pretty it's much how this it's the, the um, works. It's a casual encounter. Yeah. I, I wouldn't know. Uh. But is the Dick HWP? Or would I? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's HGP, which is head girth proportion. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, that makes more sense. I'm yeah. sorry. Is it wearing a fedora? It's pi r squared is the volume. So. <laughs> Fuck, now I'm really thinking of volume of a cylinder. Fuck. There you go. <laughs> that was wrong, too. That was, yeah. I think, circle. Whatever. You can only learn so much in accounting, so. Four thirds pi r, r cubed? You know math, right? No. Oh, Carl. That's a sphere. Fuck, I suck at everything. Oh no, it's pi r squared h. Why the fuck do I give a shit? Anyway, um, god damn it, I'm the true nerd. We're all just staring blankly at Slow Beef. Alright, no, actually, 
Adidas is on his phone right now. Like, He's oh, looking it up. Out of here. No, I just got bored with the geometry talk. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. sorry. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. This episode's still going, huh? Mm-hmm. This episode's still going, huh? It's still going, and the night is, I guess, about done. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see if there's any missed PAX connections. <laughs> no, there aren't. Well, PAX hasn't started yet. Oh, How about that? Are you in Craigslistfuture.com? The, the town is full of PAX <laughs> attendees. All right, wait, what are you oh. saying? No, you know what? I, I mixed it up because uh, I saw Strictly Platonic, and then the subject was Need PAX Passes, M for W. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's like what? He has to get them from a lady. Yeah, he's, I was about he's, to he's say, gonna why like he... he's gonna like smell the past. Like she was yeah. touching this. Wait, this is kind of great. <laughs> I missed the I missed the deadline to purchase pass passes for this week's Pax East. Over the years, I have picked up several skills that I would be willing to trade in oh, exchange. No. Oh, it's Liam Neeson. Oh, Hold no. on, all caps. Nothing sexual. What? <laughs> <laughs> Here are some of my av- available skills. Child daycare. Oh my god. <laughs> Interior decorating. <laughs> Wildlife forestry. Wait, how are these skills what? you just go out what? and pick up? What? Is this a joke? Maybe it's a joke. No. Computer programming, dressmaking, TV VCR repair. Oh, is that the list of things you can learn from Yeah. Them? All right, good. Oh, okay. What a fucking... <laughs> so oh, awesome. Oh, we got trolled. Oh. oh, Lord, that's a shame. Can't end it on that? No, we can't. But we must. Oh.